Stand by for your Alaska Aviation link. We're going to go to the Prince William Sound Museum and hear a lot about Alaska aviation during the military period of World War II. So we've taken a short trip to Whittier and we're here at the Prince William Sound Museum. We're going to hear all about this museum and some of Alaskan history from the 1700s right up to the end of the Cold War. There's a number of great stories about the Battle of Attu and one of the least known in the height of the battle by the ground troops. The Japanese effected a flight from Paramashiro to Attu. Their mission was to drop supplies to the Japanese garrison and launch torpedo attacks against capital ships. They did this twice, and on the second day, the Americans were waiting for them with the 54th Fighter Squadron, engaged an aerial gunfight with them, and one of the pilots was a man by the name of Lieutenant John Geddes, and during his attacks, the 20 millimeter cannon position affected some hits on him and knocked out his right engine. So Mr. Geddes turned his plane back to his base and realized as he was over at two that he wasn't gonna make it and he made a decision to land his plane in the water. He got out of the aircraft and he walked down the wing and jumped in the water and the plane slid beneath the waves. And he was floating around out there in his A2 jacket and his Mae West life preserver. The hypothermia was setting in. And in the nick of time, a uh, chance spot OS2U Kingfisher seaplane from the uh, USS Idaho arrived on the scene to rescue him. The man in the observer in the back was a man by the last name of Green. He jumped out of the cockpit area out onto the wing and down onto the float to grab hold of John's life vest to pull him up onto the aircraft. Big difficulty doing that because his life vest was inflated. So he took out his knife and he stabbed the life vest to let the air out and John was successfully rescued, taken to the seaplane tender Casco, and uh, a few days later transferred back to his base at Mchitka. I had a long association with the man and uh, visited with him many times and um, got these stories directly from him until he passed away. His family conveyed uh, artifacts and memorabilia and documentation of his uh, uh, career in the Aleutians to me. And it includes the life vest, which uh, still bears the uh, scar of the knife uh, hole to deflate the, the life jacket. Um, John was a uh, genteel man and uh, we went to Attu together in 95 and hiked across the island from Engineer Hill to Attu Village. And um, I really enjoyed his company and um, his passing was a sad event for me. So we're here at the Prince William Sound and we've heard from Ted Spencer, the executive director, who's put together a fabulous museum of military history, but it also has a lot about aviation history and we just heard one sliver of a little story about it. So if you get a chance, come to the Prince William Museum and see these exhibits. They are awesome. I'm Rob Stapleton for your Alaska Aviation Link.